Today we find out just how capable AI is at identifying and fixing PC building mistakes. And to do so, I've set up a gauntlet of four increasingly difficult PC building challenges. And in this video, we're going to see if you are able to identify these PC building issues more often than AI can. That's right, it's time to put your PC building knowledge to the test in this man versus machine challenge. Starting with PC puzzle number one that has a single glaring mistake. This will be the easiest challenge we see today, so go ahead and use the next 20 seconds or so to try to identify why this PC might not work the way it's intended to. Do you see anything suspicious or out of place? If you need a bit more time, you can either pause or rewind, but here's the solution to this first PC puzzle. The reason we're not getting an output to our monitor, even though our PC is very clearly turned on, is because our output cable, in this case an HDMI, is plugged into our motherboard instead of our GPU. When a video output cable is plugged into the motherboard, it's pulling from the CPU's integrated graphics. And in this case, we have an AMD CPU, which does not have integrated graphics at all. This is actually one of the more common PC building mistakes that you'll see people make. So if you were able to solve that challenge, challenge, then kudos to you, you get one point. But now it's time to see if AI can do it as well. So based on the footage that you just saw, I took a handful of photos that I can upload into ChatGPT. My PC is turning on, but nothing is being displayed on the monitor. All right. Just like that, let's see what it can come up with. Number one, check the monitor connection. Ensure that the monitor is plugged in correctly to the graphics card, not the motherboard. That is cut and dry. This thing knew exactly what to look for. I guess we'll have to step up the difficulty and see if it can solve the second problem. Ramping up the difficulty with the second PC puzzle, this one now has two major mistakes inside of it. What could the mistakes possibly be? Okay, there are two major mistakes in this PC build. Let's see if you caught them both. The first has to do with the graphics card, which is not plugged into the topmost PCIe slot up here. The reason this is an issue is because not all PCIe slots are made equally. And in fact, the standard is that the topmost PCIe slot is the fastest and has the most bandwidth. And okay, the second issue with this PC build has to do with the RAM, which is not taking advantage of dual channel memory. As you can see here, if we count left to right, we are taking advantage of slots two and three, leaving one and four open. However, if you check your manual for your motherboard, what you'll likely find nine times out of 10 is that in order to take advantage of dual channel memory, which essentially increases your computer's ability to transfer information, it'll likely say to use slots two and four if you're counting from left to right. So okay, if you got that, kudos to you, you get a point. Now let's see if AI can solve these two issues as well. Can you tell me if anything is incorrect inside of my computer? The RAM modules are seated in the correct slots if you're using dual channel configuration. Now, wait a minute. That's just that's just incorrect. All right, number four talks about the graphics card. This should be juicy. The GPU is seated in the primary PCIe slot, except for the fact that it's not, which is typically the recommended slot for a single GPU setup since it usually offers the highest bandwidth. Okay, so it clearly knows that it should be in the primary slot, but based on these photos, it doesn't recognize that the GPU is not plugged into that slot. So with that, we definitely missed the two major points that we were trying to identify with these pictures. But the funny thing about this is that it didn't just miss that the RAM and the GPU were in the wrong slot. Slots, it very confidently said that they were in the correct spots, which doesn't give me a lot of confidence that it's going to pass the next two challenges, which are even more difficult, but time will tell. On to PC puzzle number three. This one has a difficulty rating of hard, so keep a keen eye out and see if you can figure out what's wrong inside this PC. Similar to the previous PC build, there are also two major mistakes in this PC build as well. Now, these ones were a bit more difficult to see, so I don't blame you if you didn't catch them. But the first one has to do with where the CPU cooler's fan is plugged in. We can see that it's plugged into pins that are labeled CHA underscore FAN1. CHA stands for chassis, another name for the case. So that's really supposed to be used for a case fan to be plugged into. Whereas if we look up here, we can see that there is a label marking for CPU fan, which would be these pins right 
right here. Now the difference between a CPU fan pin and a chassis fan pin is that your motherboard knows the temperature of your CPU and can adjust the speed of the CPU fan to ensure that your processor specifically stays at a reasonable temperature. So that's our first major mistake. Our second major mistake also has to deal with the pins, but in this case, the front panel pins. Specifically, our power switch cable is not plugged in correctly, which is why the PC doesn't turn on when we press it. Those ones, to be fair, were pretty tough. Let's see if AI can figure them out. I might be biasing the AI a little bit just by providing so many up-close pictures of exactly what's wrong, but based on the results of the previous test, I think this needs all the help it can get. What's wrong with my PC? Kind of generic, but let's see what happens. At a quick glance, I don't think this is even coming close to describing what the actual issue is, but let's take a look. Ensure that all components are properly seated in their respective slots. Look at the cables to ensure that they are connected properly. Okay, this is all just super generic. Tell you what, I'm going to start a new chat, upload the same pictures, but I'm going to try to provide a bit more context to see if we can focus the AI down to a more concise answer. Ooh, okay, okay, front panel connectors. All right, this is super focused onto the problem. Check the front panel connectors on the motherboard. These small pins can sometimes come loose or may not be connected correctly. Refer to your motherboard's manual to ensure that the power switch reset switch are correctly connected to your motherboard. It doesn't say that those cables are installed incorrectly, it just says to check them, which is fair because this is a pretty complicated part of the piece building process. And if we look through the rest of the advice, it doesn't even mention, doesn't say anything about the fact that the CPU cooler is plugged into the chassis fan pins. I'll go ahead and give AI a half a point for this one because technically you could get this computer to turn on if you follow this advice. <laughs> that probably means it's going to struggle with the next challenge which is even more difficult than this one. But before we go there I'd like to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor. On the topic of AI this is the Obspot Tiny 2, a 4K AI powered webcam that claims to be the new era of webcam technology. It contains a best-in-class ultra-large image sensor meaning that it delivers a sharper and more vivid video than its competitors. This dual gimbal setup means that it can swivel left to right as well as up and down, and combined with deep learning AI, allows the webcam to fluently track you as you move around, which can easily be enabled or disabled with hand signals as well as voice controls. Just say, hi tiny, and the little guy will snap to attention. Thanks to the combination of two native ISOs into one CMOS, the Obspot Tiny 2 excels in low light situations, achieving exceptional imaging in both dim and glaring light conditions. And on top of all of that, its brand new all pixel autofocus technology results in up to four times faster focusing across the entire 50 megapixel sensor surface. So if you're looking to upgrade your PC or laptop's webcam setup, then check out the Obspot Tiny 2 in the description down below. A special thanks to Obspot for sponsoring today's video. And now returning back to our PC puzzle challenge, our fourth and final puzzle is by far the most difficult to solve. It does have one major mistake, so look closely and try your best to find it. All right, you made it this far. Hopefully you were able to at least make a guess of what was wrong with this PC build. This was by far the most difficult mistake to catch out of all the ones we've seen so far. So if you did happen to catch it, big kudos to you. But the answer is that the CPU fans are pointed in the incorrect directions. As you can see here, the fan on the left is blowing to the right and the fan on the right is blowing to the left, resulting in a bunch of turbulence and a non-optimized way to set up the CPU cooler. If you weren't aware, CPU fans blow air from one side to the other. The way that I like to remember it is whichever side the grate is on, so on this side you see the grate here, on this side it's just the fan, whatever side the grate is on is the direction that the air is pushing out from. So this fan would blow air from right to left, and if we flip it this way, it would blow from left to right. If your CPU cooler has multiple fans, you want them blowing in the same direction so they're not fighting each other for airflow. So this CPU fan is actually in the right orientation. It really is the culprit of this guy right here, which is not blowing in the correct direction. Ideally, we'd like to flip it around so that it was blowing air this way continuously. But okay, this one was really challenging. If you were able to find that mistake, big kudos to you. But now it's time for the ultimate test. One last time to see if AI can catch
catch that mistake as well. Time for the grand finale to see if AI can solve this super difficult PC building challenge. What's even more difficult is that it's going to have to combine information from two photos in order to properly identify and diagnose this issue because you can't really take a picture of both sides of the CPU cooler at the same time. And for the prompt of this one, I'm just going to straight up tell it that there is one thing wrong with this computer and to tell me what it is. And we will send it off to see what it can do with that information. Based on the images provided, it looks like the PC has been assembled with care to cable management and component placement. Oh, thank you, ChatGPT. However, one potential issue that stands out is related to the graphics card installation. There's an observable gap between the card's mounting bracket and the case's expansion slot. Honestly, okay, well, it kind of identified a problem that I didn't even intentionally set up. It is right that it's not screwed down, so... And then it just tells us exactly how to plug it in. All right, I'm going to push this a little bit further and say that's not the issue I was talking about. We'll see if we can kind of nudge it in the right direction. Oh my gosh, okay, it is talking about the CPU cooler. Another potential inefficiency that stands out is the orientation of the CPU cooler. It appears that the CPU cooler's fan is positioned to blow air towards the top of the case rather than the rear exhaust fan. <laughs> okay, this is like tickling the solution. This is super interesting. Like this sentence right here, exactly the problem that we wanted it to find. But the reasoning for thinking it's a problem is incorrect. It's saying that our CPU cooler's fan is positioned to blow air upwards towards the top of the case, which, wait, maybe I can't tell that it's laying down on its side. Oh, that could be really interesting. But it is pinpointing the correct thing to think about, which is that the CPU cooler itself is inefficient because one fan is blowing left to right and the other one's blowing right to left. And so technically it does lead to suboptimal airflow through the cooler. This advice could legitimately solve the issue, even if it doesn't know the exact exact reason why it's an issue. Ensuring that the CPU cooler is correctly oriented to work with the case's airflow design can help maintain optimal temperatures and efficiencies in the system. Very correct. But I'm impressed. Like this, it solved the hardest problem with a little bit of nudging along the way. I think that tallies it up at what, like two and a half points? Meaning that if you scored more than 2.5, then congratulations, you are officially smarter than AI when it comes to these PC building puzzles. With that, I've been Mr. Yeaster, your tech tinkerer, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.